welcome back. It's the next day. Uh, we've got three, four, three days, four evenings to go until the electrician comes and replaces the panels. Um, today I'm working on the design where the solar charge controllers need to go and the rest of the conduit or the cable duct. So all this needs to be designed before we can actually connect the breakers from last night to the solar charge controllers, to the new ones up there somewhere. It's actually a bit hard to reach. double metal there's the aluminium sheet and then there's the metal post underneath ah. <laughs> battery empty I've just removed the lid here of this slotted duct and looking at the cabling situation here I was thinking of removing the surge diverters, the surge protectors in this switchboard here because they are not connected and I'm not sure if we actually use them. I still haven't had a chance to discuss this with the electrician if he wants to use them or not. I was going to remove them because uh, this switchboard here is part of the shutdown procedure in case you want to shut down the whole system, you flick all four circuit breakers to disconnect the incoming solar and then drop the main switch to disconnect all your batteries. So and then you are completely isolated. No incoming power, no outgoing power anymore. But um, this... I'm not sure if we can somehow do this here. It looks... it looks fairly cramped. So... The alternative would be to have a second switchboard here in this location and this was actually the original design you can see the um, duct is already long like this so it covers two switchboards and then two more fuses and two more surge diverters in here same setup as on the right hand side for the other two roofs and I'm not sure if it's actually any better here we're taking these out and then we put everything in one and leave this one unoccupied. <sighs> this is again one of these decisions. Okay, decision made. We go with this solution. No surge protectors. And I've also reorganized the 70mm cables a bit here. So they're really sitting flat now against the back wall. And this gives us enough room to put another four of the 60 mil cables coming from the circuit breakers. And they can just run this way on top of the other cables in a second layer. I'll use some Velcro again to pair them up so we know which cables are belonging together. Not really necessary. It's just one of these OCD things. <sighs> I also just saw that this is a 40 amp breaker in here. This is for the west roof. Um, at the moment we have five strings, eight amps, that's exactly 40. It, it has never tripped so far, but I will replace this with a 63 as well, because the new panels, they will have 10 amps per string times uh, five, it's 50 amps, and we put a 63 in there, so all three will be 63. I have actually ordered two more anyway here to have spare ones, so one will go in there, and then I've got one. I don't know why I've ordered one spare. <laughs> ah, there we go. 
Uh, I've got a sharp corner in here. Amazing. <laughs> it is oh yeah here. Yeah. Got it. So, I mean, this duct is basically full now. <laughs> to get these cables in here, this was a total giveaway, but now it's done. So uh, I can still fit the lid on it if I'm quick. <laughs> so solar power is coming in from the top from our combiner boxes and then goes through the circuit breaker, comes out and goes to the two new solar charge controllers over here. And the output from the solar charge controllers now needs to come back into our DC distribution and connects to our breakers, which we have put in last night. <sighs> Four more cables and then we are done. So, okay, I've got the solar isolator ready. It looks really nice, hey? So, shutdown procedure, this all off, pull this one down, done. So that's the plan. Okay, we leave these two on for tomorrow morning. These are not connected yet. I've got the cables in, this is all organized. And I also have replaced the 40 amp with the 63 amp here for the west roof. So this is all finalized. Okay, I guess tomorrow we are going to connect these four cables here for the new solar charge controllers. So tomorrow will be a big day. We have to make the connection between the garage and the shed next door. And I'm not sure, I'm not entirely sure how this all will work out. I've got a plan and I guess we will see tomorrow because today it is already quarter past 10 again. It, it feels like the good old times here when we worked until the late night at the battery shelf. <laughs> I somehow have a deja vu. I cannot remember how much work this was to put this all together, this whole battery shelf from scratch. Because only this little upgrade now with these extra cables and circuit breakers is already a lot of work. It takes me a long time to do all that. Yeah, this cable run is good for my OCD. Anyway guys, you have a good night's sleep and we see us tomorrow again at about, I would say let's aim for 8 o'clock, right? Alright. Thanks for watching. See you then. Bye bye.